there is an important Tesla charging update. Tesla makes LG batteries for Model 3 and Model Y faster in Europe. Tesla Mag is reporting that when you install Tesla's 2021.40.6 update, it brings a big step forward for owners of some Model 3s in Europe and especially the new Model Y. Part of it is not only the long-awaited possibility of setting up immediate destination in the Tesla navigation in advance, but also a modified control for fast charging. As a result, the charging power of the battery from LG Energy Solutions is consistently 10 to 20 kilowatts higher than before. So that is filled up again more quickly and continue driving. You can now charge your Tesla faster and then go on with your driving. So Tesla Mag reports that the word about this quick uh, quickly got around in forums and on Twitter from Monday and was given new charging curves and data. With the update, however, Tesla does not create any new peak values, but, thinks, uh, but brings the battery from LG Energy closer to the performance that was previously possible with the Model 3 with Panasonic batteries from the United States. Internally, it is referred to as 5C and was initially only installed in a few Model 3 long range from China for Europe, sometimes at a discount. Surprisingly, Tesla also chose this variant for the European launch of the Model Y so that all copies delivered so far should have the 5C battery. That wouldn't be worth mentioning if the few European owners of Model 3 had not been complaining about its poor charging performance for a long time. Are you one of them? If yes, please. Let me know in the comment section below and if yes, also let me know if yours is improved. So according to today's report, the maximum possible uh, 250 kilowatts on the supercharger were never reached and the output fell below 200 kilowatts at 10%. One of those affected was a German student, a Twitter user Tesla Audrey, who often provides information on Tesla news on Twitter. He was hoping for an update and asked <coughs> CEO Elon Musk about it. And on Monday, it finally came. Then he tweeted writing the following. He said, it seems like Tesla finally released the charging update for the LG 77 kilowatt hour pack with version 2021.40.6. First reports indicate an increase of 10 to 20 kilowatt hour over the whole charging curve. Then he said that he will update if anything changes. So Tesla Audrey only discovered this himself in the Tesla drivers and friends TFF forum, but several posts there on the Twitter confirmed the innovation. So if you guys are one of them, please confirm in the comment section below as well. Accordingly, under the best conditions, charging now begins in just under 250 kilowatts instead of just over 200 kilowatts. When the battery level is 25%, the gap with the new software is at its highest at around 25 kilowatts. And it only becomes less than 10 kilowatts towards the end. The level of the earlier Panasonic battery has still not been reached, but the improvement looks clear in a direct comparison of the curves. Model 3 and Model Y now load much faster. They charge much faster. At the same time, it shows that the lower performance of the LG batteries at Tesla was apparently only partly due to safety reserves and not some customers with a and actually not only some customers with a Model 3 benefit from the faster loading, but probably everyone with a Model Y in Europe and that for even longer. Because while Tesla has now switched to a slightly larger battery made of LG cells for the Model 3 for Europe, referred to as 5L, all Model Ys from China seem to continue to come with those 5Cs. Relatively disappointing charging data from a Model 3 were also recently reported for the larger LG battery, but the update for the smaller variant suggests that even more can be 
gotten out of the 5L and those can be improved too. Let me know your thoughts, friends. If you guys have experienced anything like this in the charging improvement or uh, uh, the vice versa, let me know, please, in the comment section below. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Subscribe to our channel, join our community, give us thumbs up, that hit that like button, please. I greatly appreciate it. Sharing social media. Peace be with all of you. God bless you all. Do good to each other. And let's move on to our next Tesla story. Interesting news. Electric is reporting that Tesla's approach to using giant casting machines nicknamed Gigapress to make car bodies with just a few massive casted parts is catching on in the auto industry. Imagine what a big business will come to these companies that make the Gigapress. A Tesla supplier says that it is working with about half a dozen other automakers. That means about six automakers taking the same approach as Tesla. Over the last few years, Tesla has been heavily investing in casting and alloy technology to enable larger casting parts that have the capability to greater simplify manufacturing. The company acquired several units of the biggest casting machines in the world. They have been deployed at Tesla's factories in the United States, at Giga Berlin, and at Chi in China. Tesla has already been producing the Model Y with a single rare body piece that replaced 70 different parts in the vehicle. Earlier this year, a picture of the first single front casting part of the Model Y produced at Gigafactory Texas leaked last month. We reported that Tesla produced the first Model Y with both front and back single piece casting and Electric also reported that the strategy to greatly reduce the number of pieces to make a car body results in a massive reduction in the complexity of the body line and the capital needed to build the production line. The problem with this is that, God forbid, if you have an accident, then what are you going to have? You can't replace just one part. You have to replace the whole thing. Maybe the car is totaled. It also brings weight advantage to the vehicle itself, which in turn can improve efficiency. However, it's not all advantage. Some people, like I said, in the industry have been critical of the cast uh, cost associated with the potential repair in the event of an accident. This is led to question. This has led to questions whether Tesla is leading a new way for the auto industry to build cars in the future or if it was a fool's errand. But now it looks like some other car makers are willing to give it a shot, especially in China. The New York Times published a report on Liu Xiongsong, an engineer behind LK Technology, a partner in Tesla's casting technology. Liu said that he is working with six Chinese car makers to deploy similar casting technology as soon as next year. Here is what he said. In addition to Tesla, LK will supply similar giant casting machines to six Chinese companies by early 2022 as more car makers adopt Tesla's way of making cars, Mr. Liu said. So what do you think? Do you think this is a good idea to make cars cheaper but make repair costs potentially more expensive? What happens in the case of an accident? Now, the engineers suggest also that they might run into some issues. So what are those issues? He said, for all China's progress, it still has a long way to go. LK hopes to deliver the same type of casting machines to many Chinese companies in the next two years. But some of those companies are struggling to find car designers of the types and talent that Tesla has um, a plenty. Without the designers, LK cannot deliver the machine. So this is the problem. It's important to have the talent and keep the talent. Aside from designs, other car makers might also run into some issues with materials. Tesla has long invested in materials science uh, to develop its own alloys to support such large casting parts. The car maker even partnered with SpaceX to share material science talent to develop those alloys. Let me know your fr uh, friends, your thoughts. What do you think about this? 
Let, uh, write your comments in the comment section below. Give us thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Do you think this is a good idea? What do you think? Uh, I'll look forward to reading your comments. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you. Please subscribe to our channel. Join our community. And I'll see you soon in our next report. Let's move on to our next Tesla story.